how to use purlin noise to create some very intense designs. First thing you do, create a new layer. Once you've got a new layer, fill it with something. Just go to Edit Menu and Fill. Fill it with white or color if you wish. Filters menu and then noise and then Perlin noise. And for most of this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep going back to the same menu. I won't keep saying it over and over again. Obviously, if I do some variation, I will. So octaves are set to fairly low. Zoom, you can vary. You can create some quite nice noise designs, very in small noise, just by increasing the octaves. Also, persistence doesn't particularly make much difference there. I'm using difference, but you can, of course, experiment with different blending modes. Apply. And of course, what you can do, you can apply it once. But you can apply, like all these filters, multiple times. And you could, of course, create a macro to run this over and over again to create some variations. So you just run the pearly noise again. And of course, what you can do, you can vary the zoom and you can see by just changing it subtly, will create very subtle differences in the shadows there. And you can also, of course, change the octaves, maybe not too far. And again, you can change persistence if you wish. And you could, of course, change the blending mode. Apply. Apply again. And then you get a more unusual solarized kind of effect. Glowing string. Apply. And you can see just by applying it multiple times, you can create some Quite interesting variations. Again, very. Now, what you can see there, you can actually start to get like a 3D landscape. You've got some depth there. You've got the shadow, you've got the, the blacks, the whites. So what you can do, you can go to filters and noise and purling noise again, strange enough. And again, you've got a more abstract design there again. And again, you can vary. Again, persistence doesn't seem to make much difference. Now you can see these sort of weird patches appearing in the design as well. You can change the octave. And of course, at any point, what you can do, you can always use auto level, apply some colors to it you can also apply some other filters you don't have to keep it just always purling noise so filters colors and auto levels brightens things up a bit but what you can also do you can add some color don't have to keep it black and white grayscale so layer menu new adjustment layer and recolor you could go for that intense lava, or maybe go for blue, green. Go for that. And again, you can vary the blending modes here as well. And you've got this adjustment layer now. But if you want to combine them, simply go down to Layer Menu and Merge Visible. Creates a new pixel layer from those two. And I always like to generally get rid of them. But you could always just disable them. Up to you. And again, when you do filters, noise, or maybe go and apply a blur, a Gaussian blur in the blur menu. So you want to blur it slightly. And you can do this, of course, at any point over and over again. And of course, I said, I'm applying it on one layer. You could, of course, combine multiple layers as well. You could do the same, but with multiple layers. Apply the noise again. There's a more flat design there now, but you can see some. But you can vary again the zoom. Change octaves. And you can see you can create a sort of three-dimensional like effect again in that yellow. Apply. And of course what you can do, 
Filters, purling noise again. And you can see now you get more unusual blues and yellows, a roughness to it. And you can just keep doing this. You can keep varying it over, just plying it again and again, slightly subtly varying it, using that blend mode of difference. But again, you don't have to use blend mode difference. It's, you could use dark and multiply, light and etc. But what you can also do, you can always go to other things like distort, which I will do in a few minutes. But again, you can again go to this and you can keep applying it over and over again. And if you're not happy with the colours, personally the blue and yellow are not the greatest of colours there. You can, of course, go and vary them again via the various colour features in the colours menu. Okay, it's a really quite nice three-dimensional effect. And you can repeat this for, well, near enough forever if you wish, to create all kinds of variation. And at any point, of course, what you can do, you can always go to File and Export, so you can save the work, or maybe save it to the assets. for future use. Again, layer menu, new adjustment layer. Go down to maybe recolor or HSL. And you can see now you've got this very unusual metallic-like red or lava. And again, what you can do, always go to Layer Menu and Merge Visible. So you end up with just that. And again, you can always keep the other layers. You don't have to, but you can delete them. So you've got that really quite nice mottled metallic look as well. But what else you can do, Filters Menu, Distort, and maybe Twirl, but Deform. Just add some pins and distort it. Again, create maybe a more like the surface of the sun. Of course, try and make certain you've got the whole layer covered there. And of course, what you can do, you don't have to use the rigid. You could always use similarity as well, which creates some... I think a much nicer flowing design apply. Of course, what you can do then, you can go back again to filters and noise and purling noise. And this time you've got blue and red with difference. And again, you can vary that. Again, change zoom. Now, persistence, there was very subtle change there. but It's very subtle. Apply it. Again, pearl in noise again. And you can see literally thousands and thousands of different designs. Unusual designs can be created very quickly and easy just by varying the zoom. Again, pearl in noise again. Now, sometimes it just doesn't look really great. So I think actually it's okay. Sometimes I think the two, applying it twice, the second one never seems to look as good personally. I don't think that looks as good as the red. But of course you can always vary the colour. I prefer that one, to be honest. And you can just keep varying it. Just keep varying the zoom, exploring different aspects to it. Click apply again. Of course, once you've done that, you can always go apply various other effects. Again, deform. 
So filters menu, distort and deform. And that's all from a very, very basic combination of purling noise, applying the difference all the way through, and a little bit of deform to create some very abstract designs. Again, you could use rigid, you could use similarity as well. Now, again, at any point, this could be exported, saved to assets. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always any new tutorials about Affinity Photo, Photoshop, and many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.